Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday, November 29th, 2018, and good morning to each and every one of you. Our last day before getaway day for Friday late morning off to Nevada. It's going to be a lot of fun. This morning, though, I want to talk about my, I want to call it a demi fast. Why not a fast? Because I've eaten a few things here and there. I've had some eggs occasionally, but let's let's back up a little bit. The reason I'm doing this, I outlined in Monday morning's uh, video, that I need to get my weight, you know, down to a point where when I have my second Brazilian butt lift on and the injections in, and getting a little of the sides tucked in, especially around the back where there's kind of um, some fat pooches back there, that when the surgery is over and the recovery is underway, that I can start to eat more, gain the weight back, and fill out. The nice thing about uh, uh, moving fat from one area of the body to the other is you only have a certain number of fat cells in your body, and when they're removed those fat cells, there's less to grow large when you eat more, so it's a little more difficult to get weight back in those areas that it was removed, and it goes to the other areas where there's a higher deposition of fat, i.e. the butt, which is a real nice thing. It also had the effect of uh, filling out and firming and toning everything. So that's, that's kind of why I'm doing it, so I get my, I get a lot of bang for the buck, in this second go round. Why do a second go round? Because as the doctor explained to me at the time that I booked this way back almost a year ago, that when you do a second transfer, aesthetically it works better and also the fat that's transferred has a higher, higher uh, chance of living than uh, the first, first go round because it's already sticking on to fat that's already been transferred from another area of the body. So it's always his wish that he gets people back two times to do this fat transfer. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, dieting and maintaining a high energy level, which I do. Of course, you do go over the hump the first day or two. I am drinking coffee. I am eating a salad for dinner, and uh, sometimes I'm having a bowl of soup with that. I'm supplementing the salad with a little bit of tuna on top or a little bit of canned uh, chicken. And uh, nothing in the morning at all, nothing in the afternoon. Sometimes a banana, maybe an orange from the tree. And uh, concentrating on just an evening meal. I am having coffee throughout the uh, day. I'm not over-drinking water. I don't think this is... Uh, you know, this is this is required. Normal drinking, which I drink a lot of water anyway, it helps to keep your skin fresh and prevent being dehydrated, especially if you get older and you do drink a lot of coffee. It tends to be uh, dehydrating. I don't drink a lot. I drink some coffee. Is it hard to stay on this? Some people, oh, you know, it's, I, I want to break down and just do this. You have to, you have to have a goal in the mind, and I don't think that you can look at yourself in the mirror when you die and say, I don't think you can look at your body and say, um, I just want to lose weight. I don't think that that helps you succeed. But when you set yourself a real goal of what, why you're doing this, and not just because I want to lose weight, but set yourself a real substantial goal, I think it's easier to stay on track. Because every day you wake up and thinking that day is getting closer of whatever, my high school reunion or whatever, and that's a real motivator. If you can, if you can perceive it, if you can dream it, then you can achieve it. But if you just go into the idea, oh, I just need to lose weight, and then, you know, the day comes, and you're all highly motivated the night before, Ron, and then the next day comes, and you're like, uh, you know, what's the point, you know, and you slide back into the old habits again. So you really have to have a strong goal. You have to be a goal-oriented person to achieve that. So we shall see. Anyway, um, glad to have you along this morning. Have a wonderful rest of your Thursday. Always good things to come. Big weekend coming up. Love having you guys along. Mm -hmm. 
Don't forget, if you're shopping for the holidays, our links are in the description box down below. If you're in the UK, Canada, or the US, please consider using our link to Amazon as a gateway link. Your privacy is assured. Everything is totally confidential. But we earn a uh, we earn a few uh, few pennies on the transaction, and it helps to uh, it helps us too. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a wonderful Thursday.